Here we go, folks. Let me tell you what we got going on. We are fishing with some of the most expensive, nice bait casting reels out there. That one might be 11. The one I have in my hand right here, I've only used a handful of times. I break it out for special occasions. You know, Rob said, hey man, got, got a Florida trip, going down in there, heavy grass, big bass. I said, okay, I wanna bring down a reel I've taken to the Amazon, a reel I've traveled around the country with. I break out for special occasions that is discontinued from a company that makes really good fishing reels, Shimano. This is the Calais DC. It is built like a tank, the gears are just solid. It has a digital chip in there that cast controls for you. Now for the last 100 years, fishing reels have advanced tremendously. A lot of you probably weren't around for original fishing reels. My dad actually collects a lot of antique stuff and he's got some reels that if you tried to fish with them, you would just laugh. We're talking, looks like just a tin can with a handle on it and a couple of grindy gears and your gear ratios are gonna be really low, like probably two to three to one. Now, when you look at fishing reels, they're advanced. They have high speed gear ratios. The metal is incredible. Rob, what are you fishing with over there? I'm fishing the Antares. And I'm gonna tell you right now, the thing's pretty light. But guess what? All these new baits are available right now. I wanna be fishing the XL Blazing Worm for a little while and then also the Pinna Worm just because, well, the Antares is really good for throwing light, light stuff. You see this little nugget right here? Ragley like night. This is the saucy slimmer head right here. This thing's absolutely phenomenal. Look at that jigger. Looks pretty phenomenal, huh? You can jab that head right up inside there. It's gonna be nice and smooth as long as you're using a Guggen bait. Also, it says, of course, what weight is on it because I forget and I couldn't put a five eighths and a half ounce in my hand and say which one is which, unless it says something like this. This is gonna be used in this video as well. This is the XL Blazing Worm. I'm gonna be using black and blue. This thing is absolutely phenomenal. It catches bigs. And then the Pinner Worm. This thing is a little floating worm. It's a phenomenal drop shot bait, phenomenal wacky rig bait. It floats right on top of the water. This is a great worm. It's a finesse worm. Check it out. I'll be linked at the top of the description or go to goonsquad.com. Just had a bite. Oh, there's one. Little buddy. The reel is in action. There we go. Yes. Spend four to six hundred dollars on a reel. This is the kind of fish you can catch too. Certainly felt smooth though. On the lunker log, this is weightless plastic zone right here. We just found some, some beds actually. This is my first time seeing beds in this open water flat area in Florida. And they're around some pad stems. They're, we're just kind of out here in the middle, to be honest with you. But there's like these little sandy spots within the grass holes and that's where they're making their beds. And that's a good sign. We have not seen this all day. So things could be starting to go up. Hey, got her. Oh. Got her. <laughs> Let's go, dude. Yes. Go Oh, baby. Absolutely. Ooh, big one. Nice. 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 Other bait we talked about for fishing the grass flats, the blazing worm. It's a nice little male fish right there, Florida fish. This is actually a color that's brand new. It's not even out yet. It's called Texas Tequila. I'm just gonna let you guys in on it right now. Texas Tequila, you know Tequila Sunrise? It's like that, just a little different. So, you guys stay tuned for that one. But just kind of doing a little blind casting while we were uh, looking for some bedfish and we did just see a really big one, like at least an eight pounder. Biggin. Blazing. Oh, Not quite the giant that we're looking for, but a fun one. Let me show you all the rig here. Fishing this on a 50 pound braided line, eighth ounce tungsten weight with a bobber stop, four rot worm hook. I want it to kind of swim just under the, the surface around these pads. I don't want it to really dig into the grass. So I'm using a, a light 
light, lightweight. You could also go completely weightless. That's pretty fun too. It almost acts as like, like a top water. I can cast this really far. There's fish scattered around the flats. So it's worm season, folks. We're fishing the worm. That's probably it. Yeah. Oh, got him. You doing? Wow, even the little ones eat the Blazing XL. Look at that. Tiny, tiny Tim. This is really an honor and a privilege to be uh, fishing with some nice reels. The previous video, if you guys missed it, it was a huge challenge. I was trying to catch one of these bass out of this thick stuff. You see how thick this is? Using literally the cheapest uh, rod and reel combo we could get at Walmart. Not giving up. And I actually ended up hooking into some big fish. Oh, oh my God, God, that was God! It was challenging, y'all. So just to have a reel that I can confidently cast with, it just feels so good. That that other one I was fishing with was just, it was insane. You guys are gonna need to go check out that video. But stark contrast to what I have in my hands right now. Oh! Come on, baby. They are. They are. I don't know. I felt like it was giant, though. Did it not look big when it came up in weight? Yeah, it looked big. Coming? He's not big. Okay. Oh, it gets so exciting. Came up there and waked on the old XL. My God. That was exciting. I mean, see how shallow that was? Super shallow. Just came up, sucked it in. God, about post spawn as can be. I thought he was giant though. It had me all wrapped up in that stuff. You caught a tainer. I've never caught a tainer. I never caught one over 11. I'm stuck in the 10s, dude. That one might be 11. Come on, baby. Uh, That's a good one. Oh my God, bless. What's the timing of that? Perfect. Perfect timing. Sure, timing right there, baby. Big old XL. When was the last time you had a big bot? Oh, last time you had a big bot, man. Oh, oh, yeah! yeah. <laughs> that was the last time we had a big bite. Had a boy. Ah, my rod fell in the water. Steady blazing. <laughs> oh, and the, look at that. Did you see that? Wow. Big old XL blazing, baby. Ah, there's a the little chunk, little, what do you think? Three and a half, four rounder? Four rounder, yeah. Four, four, four rounder? Good. Good bass, baby. I love it. I love Florida so much. That's why I like throwing that big old fat 7.25 inch XL blazing just for something like this. Now, if you guys want to check it out, you guys know what you have to do. Go to goonsquad.com, use code Googan at checkout to save an additional 10%. Look at that. Ah, love it. All right, thank you. I appreciate you. You can, you can go if you want. Oh, another one! Yeah. Another one! Oh, they're up in here. They're up in here. Back to back cast. Oh my God! Here we go. It's gonna be a giant. Oh, good in. They're good. Little. Oh my God! They're eating this blazing XL worm like it's going out of style. I just smacked you with it, didn't he? Yeah. Like it's going out of style. Blazing XL, baby. That's crazy because I'm throwing the five inch. Yeah. I'm not getting bit nearly as much as you are right now. He on that. He's throwing the original one, and I'm throwing the new, the large version. And it's absolutely, man, look, he choked that thing. A little two and a half. Yonder, baby. Get back in there. Let's get another one of these things tied on. Here we go. Look at the size difference of the baits. I know you guys may not see it too much at home. Now, when you look at the body of the thing, the 7.25 is much thicker. I mean, he's throwing, what, what size hook are you using? That's a four. He's using a four. I'm using a seven. You can get away with a six as well, but I'm using a seven. Look how big that sucker is. It's just got a lot of weight on it. I'm actually got it pegged by the quarter ounce. Get that sucker up there. Oh my God, lots of meat on this one. Lots of meat. I actually use it on the 7.5. This is a muscle Guggen squad rod. I've got 65 pound braid, matter of fact, and I'm just zanging it around. Big one? Where's it at? Is he wrapped, you got you wrapped pretty good or? Just... There we go, baby. Look at that. Grass hero. Grass hero. 
and listen to this. Rattle and chunk. Black and blue with the white. We, we got some bass that are just up there chasing bait fish. There's these ospreys that we have actually seen grab a bass out of the shallow water and these bait fish are just up there and the bass are kind of chasing them and these, these ospreys are looking for them and literally trying to grab these bass just like we are. So let's hope we can get there before they do. Wes, look at this bird. Look at him, look at him, Wes, Wes, Wes. I got a fish on, but look at that, Wes. Look at that bird. I don't know. Look at that bird. He's got like a bluegill or something inside of his freaking claws. Look at him. No, oh, he's got a bass. bass he's got a bass. Yeah. Look at him. Look at that. You can see its large mouth. That's crazy. No, this ain't a bad fish either, dude. Look. Yeah, ah. I, I felt him for a second. That yeah, ain't bad. Man, we both caught fish at the same time. The only difference is he's about to go pluck its eyes out and eat it. They go blazing worm, baby. Can you yeah. give him a sniff? Yes, sir. Oh, I saw that, bro. I saw that. Uh, he's got little like leech things on him. That was a mean trick, dude. That was like set me up on a date with the wrong girl. <laughs> he's talking to said, Oh, no, 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 no. Hilarious. Yeah, Oh, he didn't get him, but that but was cool. But it was still cool, I mean. Oh, he shook! Oh, I love it. This is, I love it. Oh, it's a good one. Good one. There you go. Mm. Oh, son, is it about three, three pounds? Old son? Old son, the three, three yonder? Oh, no. no. Oh, well. Upper twos. Upper twos. Upper twos. Healthy fish. Still catch a big one. Pretty good little sack of them though today. We got I a know, nice it, little sack of them. Let's think about it. We got a four, a three. Probably the rest we can fill with two and a half. So you have five, seven and a half, eleven and a half, fourteen, fifteen pounds, fifteen pounds or so right now. Now in Florida, that's actually fairly respectable because then right now we we knock one of our two and a half like a six. Now you're close to what nineteen. Mm-hmm. That's that's a Okay. You know what I mean? We're, we're working. When we, we get one good kicker, I mean, we're close to 18 to 20 pounds. That's the deal in Florida, right? You got to yeah. get that kicker. You just need one kicker. Oh. Oh, big one? Oh, oh, oh it's a big one. Come on now. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Come on, get her in here, son. Betty blazing. You know, these Florida fish, they have big heads, but they're kind of lighter. Like when you first see them, it's like, oh, that's a three pounder. It's gonna be a little bigger, yeah. And you can pick it up, and it's like, yeah. But Rob, why do a lot of these fish have like lesions on them? I think they're, are they, are they leeches? They're like little parasite, like little parasitic parasites, bugs. Parasites, yeah. But it's from the grass. Oh yeah. See, ooh, god, dude, don't even bite my nose. <laughs> I can see them cr literally crawling on their skin. Yeah. That is kind of nasty. Letting this fish go. That's a like button, come on. Extra jumps. I'm kinda hoping you were gonna catch like an eight here. Ah, yeah. Oh, there was another one about that scene. Yeah, way out there. I had to catch up with him. He's in the grass. This is why I love Florida right here. Big rods, heavy gear. Bruised hips, broken ribs, <laughs> ah, all for that right there. Just soaked my boat. Look at that. Even this little tiny dude made it fun with a blazer. There's my counter hole fish. Great days, Dangle. Entering the end of the day, we're just trying to get a big fish. Going old school, man. Me and Lunkers just getting after it, hardcore. You gotta, you gotta smash that like button for him. He's got a little, he's got a limp going on. It's hurting. You hurting, buddy? Back is killing me. The back's hurting. Me. That day is fantastic. I had one suck me down a second ago. It was like Cardi B in her old days, and I just didn't connect with it. And then you got Rackley, who for some reason just cannot <laughs> land a big fish in Florida. He catches. And hooks them, 
and then they just come off. I need my guy to catch an eight and a half right now. Wrapping up the day, folks. You know what, we had a pretty good day. Had a decent little uh, bag of fish. Fishing some of the nicest bait casting reels available. But just because you got one doesn't mean that you can't lose a crafty old green fish, which I did today. Yeah, just because you have a nice reel doesn't mean uh, you're gonna put your bait in the exact spot you need. Doesn't mean your boat's gonna be in the exact spot. You gotta have the skills. But I feel like we did a pretty good job today, Rob. Blazing XL, Pinner Worm, Saucy Swim Heads, and Dub Grub. You guys can get them now, because guess what? They're available. GoogenSquad.com. And we got more action here to come, guys, here in sunny Florida, in these grassy lakes. So subscribe to the YouTube channel here. Smash the like button, and we'll see you on another Guggen Squad episode. Hey, you got her. Oh. You got her. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,